Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Pat said, where'd she go? Where'd she go? <laughs> I'm here, y'all. I'm here. Good afternoon. I'm never here on lunch. I'm never here for lunch. Where is my stuff at? Good afternoon, everybody. <sighs> All right. I'm going to do a real quick install. I'm going to address any questions. I'm going to see who's on here. If you are new to the page, what's up? Uh, my name is Shamika uh, Jackson. I am the founder of Cafune Amore Hair Care. I help provide a four-step lace wig system for individuals who um, wear lace wigs to allow them to have a secure fit, hold, and the amount of time that they desire. And I also provide custom-made wigs for individuals who are suffering from hair loss. What's up, Linda? Oh, a Jackson. I'm Jackson, too. What's up? <laughs> An amazing last name. If you are new to the page, drop down where you're from. I want to see where everybody's coming from so I'll know who I'm talking to. And if you've been here before, drop those purple hearts and say hello. I'm doing a really quick install. I want to see if anybody got any feedback, any sort of questions. So I'm not planning on being here too extra long um, as well. So hopefully I can share you guys with my tips that I'm on here um, as I do this quick install for lunch. So I'm going to try on these couple of bob wigs. Y'all can drop your questions while you're on here. And I can try to answer them as much as I can in the amount of time that I'm here. I'm going to try on three wigs real quick. And I just realized I put this makeup on before I tried them wigs on. That ain't going to work, y'all. How am I going to do that? All right. Marilyn. Okay. Taisha. Hey, Taisha. What is up? Are you in Baltimore? You're in the upper part? Or are you in the Maryland down there near DC? Are you closer to that area? I was just in um, Maryland the other couple weeks ago. I went to the um, a comedy show place. Um, it was pretty good. I saw, um, what's his name? I didn't even realize I was going there for see him. What's his name? He's the rapper. T.I. I saw a comedy show with T.I. in Maryland. He was in Baltimore and I went. All right, y'all, I'm about to put this wig on. All right, so real quick, I'm going to show you guys a real quick live on a different, um, the different uh, sort of lengths that I have and what they look like on me. And then I'm gonna install one while we're here. So I realized I put this darn makeup on my head and I, um, these wigs are new. I can't be trying on wigs, but you know, that I plan on selling and I got this damn, so I'm gonna put this wig cap on over here real quick. So hopefully you see the difference. In Baltimore, but currently in Salis Salisbury, Maryland. Okay. I think I've been out there once. All right, welcome to the uh, face to my Facebook page. I'm also streaming on YouTube. So YouTube, hey girl, hey. If y'all on YouTube, make sure y'all drop where y'all coming from as well so i'm gonna try put this on real quick before i do this install so as i'm doing this install y'all can bring y'all questions um as i'm doing it so i have three different lengths of bob wigs so sometimes it's hard to understand like what each one looks i'm a bob girl before i started suffering from hair loss so i'm going to show y'all what each bob style looks like real quick um before i install this bob wig so this is the 10 inch bob wig because you know bobs can come in different lengths oh, shit i should have brought a dad on fan up in here it's hot already hello lynn hey what's up you from giddings texas giddings texas what's up lynn is that close to what area another city like um houston area 
Dallas or um, Austin. What area is that close to? See, if I told y'all where I was from in Jersey, y'all probably wouldn't know either. So I just try to equate where I live closer to like a section. So if y'all wanna know, I'm in Jersey. So I am close to, I'm like 20 minutes outside of Philly. So this is 12, this is a 10 inch. So that's where I'm at in Jersey. If I tell y'all where area, yeah, but like she make, I don't know where that is. <laughs> so I just tell people I'm from Jersey, but you can live up North Jersey. Okay, near Austin. Okay. I have not been to Austin yet, but I do want to go. Um, Cause you know, Jersey can be pretty long. So I'm closer to the Philly side versus New York side. So this is the 10 inch bob wig. This looks really natural for me. Like back in the day before I had to suffer from alopecia, this is how I wear my hair, which is kind of funny. I don't know, do anybody wrap their hair anymore? This kind of gives me a wrap vibe. I'm, I'm aging myself right now. But if I was to comb this down a little bit and wrap this around, this is giving me a wrap feel. Just these pieces are kind of sticking up, but I have to flat iron them down. But it's definitely giving me a wrap vibe. Yes. Okay. What's up, Tony? How are you? I used to rap. Yeah, like, look. I used to wrap my hair and stuff. Look at this. This is giving me a rap vibe. And then for me, when I, before I had to, um, you know, deal with my situation, this part would be like a little bit shorter. A little bit. So if you took a razor and cut it up a little bit, like right in here, and then wrapped it and let it go, how you doing, Tony? It will probably give you like a lot more of a natural look. So what y'all think? This one's a good length. This is a 10 inch. I'm going to show y'all the other two while we talking and we chatting real quick. But this is a 10 inch bob look. <sighs> All right. So why don't y'all name some of the top products y'all used to wear back in the day when y'all used to wrap your hair. Y'all used to use a lot of body. I used to use Kimmy oil and pink moisturizer. <laughs> Who remembers those days? <laughs> I know I ain't the only one. So I know somebody else is using that good old pink moisturizer. Okay. All right. So that one was a 10 inch. What type of products do y'all remember back in the day? Do any of y'all use some of those products now? I do not. I did try to use Kimmy oil one time, but it might've been a couple of years ago. But um, yeah. It was still cool though. All right. Um, I'm waiting for y'all answers. Pink oil moisturizer, exactly. <laughs> Listen, you know, you had the pink oil moisturizer and your hair was like all the way together. And we didn't do all them baby hairs back then. <laughs> like I'm about to put this 12 inch wig on y'all. So y'all see what the difference is. Now I didn't bleach this one, I bleached the first one, which means that I'm definitely not installing this one because this one's not bleached yet. Let me know what y'all think. 12 inch looks better than this 10 inch wig. Let me see here. Where the comb at? I'm in my bathroom today, y'all, so I can't be missing nothing. Normally, I'll be up there running back and forth because I'm forgetting something. So now this is 12 inch bob. Now this is a 12 inch bob wig. So I didn't bleach this one yet. So the other one I bleached already. Yup, pink oil. Yup. <laughs> right, Taisha? Like, mm-hmm. Um, and don't get no slick ponytails, honey. I'm gonna cry. I miss those days. <sighs> but we here now, y'all. Um, so this ain't even on. All right, so I can't even do nothing with this, y'all. This is not even on. I ain't gonna be able to put my wig on if this this ain't on. All right, this ain't warm, so I can't even straighten it out for y'all. I got this little uh, straightening comb. I can straighten it out a little bit, but it ain't gonna do but so much. But I have everything together. All right, so this is a 12 inch, y'all. What y'all think? This one, I ain't doing nothing. Do y'all know any recommendations for a good straightening comb? I'm so tired of these daggone straightening combs, y'all. This one is a um an Andis. This one's not too bad, but it still don't feel like it gets hot enough for me. 
Um, if y'all got any recommendations for a good straightening comb, let me know. What do y'all think about this length on me? Y'all feeling this better than the 12 inch? I mean the 10 inch? So real quick before we go into other stuff. So like this one's 12 inches, right? But this is a 12 inch bob wig. So you can do the part anywhere. I didn't wash this one, the condition one yet. So when you try to part it and stuff like that, right now it's going towards the middle. But eventually, if you wanted to use different products, you would um, wash it, condition it, and then probably, and then you can set it with um, some mousse. Now this is the mousse I use today. I use Nairobi. And basically what I'll do is, before I put the wigs on, I'll spray it around the perimeter and then I'll flat iron it. And now I'll set it in place. Like I'll put this around here and then I'll set it in place. Now this 12 inch is gonna be different than like a regular 12 inch wig. This is a 12 inch bob wig. So the difference between this 12 inch and say a 12 inch wig is that you're not gonna have as much um, extra length. So it's all cut even and you don't have, um, so a 12 inch would normally look a little bit longer in the back. So you'll have some more hang time in the back. So basically it's a more of a blunt cut style wig, but it's a 12 inch longer, which, which means that the top pieces are actually longer than um, a 12 inch lace front wig. Even though they're both lace front, they're, this is a lace front bob wig, which basically means that it's cut into a bob. It's just a longer bob. It's giving me like, news anchor vibes for me. So for me, um, I'll probably have to cut some more up in here. All right, so this is 12 inch. I wanna start getting to this install real quick. This is a 12 inch wig. Which one do y'all like better, this one or the 10 inch? And then I got one more to show y'all, 14 inch, which I did bleach this one. Hey Suki, how are you? Do you do silk top wigs? If you, yeah, we do silk top wigs. Um, I don't keep them in stock, I only do them as a custom order. So, did I say your name right? Suki, 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 yeah. What's up, girl? I, um, I do them as a custom order. So, if you tell me what length you want, then we could uh, do that as well. So, they come in different lengths. Silk top wigs. Yep, silk top wigs. For anybody who's on here don't know the silk top wigs, she asked about silk top wigs. Hey, Miriam, how are you? Suki. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so, a silk top wig, basically, y'all, if you're not familiar with um, what a silk top wig is, it basically hides the knots on your wig. Um, so, basically, you're able to put the wig on and not have to bleach any knots because the knots are actually hidden. They're hidden underneath two layers of lace. So, for example, if this was a wig that, that you was putting on, um, it's kind of funny because when you look at the other wig versus this wig, there is a difference. You can tell on the front hairline because I bleached this one. I didn't bleach the other one. The other one looked a lot more harsh. I didn't fully pluck this one yet. So what happens is if you was to do a silk top wig, I'm going to show you. I have some here, but I didn't bring it here. I didn't know that was going to be a question, but we can always come on live and do it. This is a 14-inch bob wig. So once again... The ends are blunt, right? Um, and then the ends are blunt all the way around. So going back to what she asked about the silk top wigs, they are available as a special order. So you send an email and say, hey, Shmiga, I want a silk top wig, 20 inches. What do you have? I'll let you know what's available. So a silk top wig is basically you're able to take a wig. And you see how here, um, this one looks really amazing because I bleached the hell out of these knots. <laughs> um, so what happens is those knots that you basically can't see on this one because I bleached them, um, they are basically hidden underneath um, another layer of lace. So it literally looks like scalp. Now I want you to take a look at this one, right? Y'all see all that? I should have brought the ring light in here, but I didn't. I'll be really hot in here if I did. All right, you see that one? I'm gonna show you the wig that I didn't bleach the knots and you'll be able to really tell on that one. This one, I didn't bleach the knots, so you'll be able to tell. Thank you, Tanika. <laughs> All right, let me see here. All right, this one, 
don't know if you can tell here. And you might not be able to tell, but you see how it was like, there's little black dots basically in here. So what we do is, um, basically what we do is I'll bleach the knots so they're not as noticeable. Okay, so basically um, I can drop a picture into the Facebook group um, if you want. And, um, and I'll be able to, for you to get a lot more clarification on what a silk top wig looks like. What do y'all think about the 14 inch? Because I can only wear the 14 inch or the 10 inch because these knots are bleached and the other one isn't. I didn't bleach the other one, so I can't wear that. I mean, I had, actually, I didn't, as I realized, I didn't even pluck the knots on this one. I mean, I didn't, I didn't thin out the hairline. So... But to me, this one gives me a little bit of the same sort of wig that I had on before, which is a 14 inch lace front HD wig. I'm thinking a 10 inch. See, see Suki, I'm here on lunch. So you're able to join the live. Normally I'm on here at night and you don't see me. <laughs> you probably won't catch the live. So this is the, this is the 14 inch. Um, this is giving me healthy hair vibes <laughs> um, when I've been taking care of my hair back in the day. So um, this length looks still look natural. All three lengths look natural to me. I like the 12 inch. Um, the 12 inch. I can't, um, I can't. Let me see here. There you go. Tanika. Where is it? You see it? Can y'all see that? I think they changed this. I'm on my iPad today. It looks weird on my end. On my end, I just dropped the link and it's on the right hand side. I'm not going to open it because I don't want to mess up my live. So hopefully you can see. I just put it in the comment section. Okay. Um. So this one, you look under Bob Wigs. This one is the 14 inch. So either way, the biggest change will probably be the, um, the 10 inch wig. The 10 inch wig is going to look the most different. And the 10 and 12 inch is going to be looking a lot um, similar. And if you can tell, these two I actually washed because I bleached the knots. Then I let them air dry. They do have some wave to them. So if you wanted to wear it in a wavy sort of style, you're able to because there still is some wave to it. All right. So it's still straight hair. They're going to flat iron it. But naturally, if you was to wet it up, it does have some wave. So you do get a little bit of versatility with the wave, right? All right. So I'm going to get started with this this install real quick because I got back problems y'all my back be killing me so I can't be standing too long all the time all right so real quick I did the ball cap method I put on um the the wig cap and then in order for me to put that on I just put this on over because I'm gonna be trying on people's wigs and people want to sell them and I'm like oof that's nasty so I put this on to me so in order for me to put this one on I use a combination of two products and I did this early on because I didn't want to take too much time trying to put this on real quick. So I used the Got You Stuck. I don't sell this on my website. I only sell this on Amazon. Can you do a session on a silk top wig? Yeah, I can, Suki. Um, I can. I will, uh, I'll schedule it. If you're on my email list, make sure you join the email list because I normally send out an email and a text message. And I'm going to put it clear as day. We're going to talk about silk top wigs. I have some here. I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm like the originator of a full cap silk top wigs, like where the silk was all over the whole thing, um, like 12 years ago. Um, so this is the um, Got You Stuck. But Suki, if you're on my email list, I'm going to definitely do a live one. I can probably do it next week, actually. So I use this, melted this around the hairline, right? And then I sprayed um, the got you stuck over it, and that's how we got this. Okay, so I went out to the orthopedic, I mean to the physical therapist, because I had back problems. I told y'all, I'm getting old, y'all. Don't judge me. And um, came back, and I had my elastic headband wig on. So this is how I kind of like get through things, even though I'm a woman who suffers from scarring alopecia. So when I came on here, y'all saw that I was doing a little bit of foundation, which is this is my normal color. I actually use two different colors on my wig cap because, you know, we change shades, right? So, um, complexion-wise, so normally I mix the two. 
She said, oh, you don't look old. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that, Tanika. <laughs> thank you. Um, you know, that black don't crack. So uh, I use a little bit of minted um, foundation stick, and I use a little bit of Fenty. And this color is M10, and this one's 385. This is my regular like concealer, I mean, foundation I use on my skin. So I just put it around the wig so it doesn't look as light as it was. Because, you know, when I first came on here, it was very, very light. So that's what I did while I was jumping on this live. That's what y'all saw. All right, so first step first. First thing you want to see, does this lace match my complexion? When people say, what lace? That lace, because it's noticeable, y'all. <laughs> you don't want your lace wig looking noticeable. You don't want nobody knowing. You got a lace wig on. So one of the things that you always want to start with is, number one, your foundation. Your, your braids need to be braided down. Your hair needs to be braided down as flat as possible, right? You want to make sure your foundation is straight. If you're not, then you're going to have bumpy bump, all that other stuff. You don't want all that. So you just want to start with a good, good foundation, which you're just trying to make your braids as flat as possible. If you have short hair, you want to pull it back in a quick ponytail, something simple like that. That's fine. Second step is you want to make your, sure your wig cap is matching your skin complexion as well. Another step, if I would have kept it light, it would have been even more noticeable when I was doing that parting. Another reason why that part looks so loud was because this lace isn't my color. So that's step number two, your wig cap. You put some foundation so that it matches your skin color. Now, number three, I'm going to try this wig on because not every single time do you need a lace tint spray. Um, we're going to try and see, right? So you're going to put your wig on. you be like, oh, girl, I see that lace. Um, so right now, I'm going to change this color on this lace right now to match my skin color a little bit more, okay? So I'm going to start with that first, which is going to be the lace tint spray. Now, everything better be in here. I'm pretty sure it is. Today, y'all, not today. But anyways, we're gonna use it for now. We're gonna see what happens. I'm a mocha lace tint spray. I don't know why it's not in here. That's all I ever use. Um, two things with the spray. You're gonna spray on the inside of the cap. You're gonna spray it evenly. I'm gonna use chai, even though I'm normally not chai, but I think it might work for me. Um, I'm normally a mocha lace tint spray, so I'm gonna spray all throughout the inside of the cap. You can turn it inside out if you want and just spray on the cap. I don't want to spray it where it's going to be getting anywhere. Um, I just recently had a customer come and ask me for a lighter colored lace tint spray because when she originally had her first, um, I'm over here over spraying y'all. Now I don't got the blow dryer over here. I just realized that. Um, I don't know what this blow dryer actually. Um, so originally when she went, I got the lace tent spray, she must have got it in the um, summertime because her color was darker than what she was now. And she said, so she must need a lighter color. So just like your, your foundation, sometimes your tints may change and where you may be in between two different colors. Now I actually use chai. I'm going to see if this works. I think it does, but that's why I have it in my, in my bathroom right now. So what I did was I just sprayed inside of the cap. I'm going to let this air dry and then I'm going to start my foundation. While it's air drying, I'm going to start how I start the wigs, right? So I'm going to let that air dry real quick. And then I'm going to start with my um, cap. So first thing first, you want to make sure that your skin and your hairline is clean, which I'm going to use a little bit of toner instead of alcohol because I don't want to... Um, break any of my skin now should I use hmm. all right I'm gonna use um I think I'm gonna use adhesive but I'm only gonna do one layer because I am going I'm going out tomorrow and it's supposed to rain so I'm gonna use something that's waterproof 
well, water resistant, y'all, not waterproof, but water resistant. Um, while I do this wig, so I don't want to get caught in no rain. So I'm going to use a little bit of um, toner to clarify my skin. You can dab on the alcohol. I'm starting to not use the alcohol. I'm starting to use a, a toner. An all natural toner. Let me see here. Around my hairline. And I'm just going to get rid of whatever is on here. You can use witch hazel as well. But toner is another way you can do it. I didn't even know I had... Oh, I just put that makeup on. I was about to say, I didn't even know I had makeup on. Alright, so I'm going to get rid of all the stuff around my hairline. Alright, so y'all see all that, right? I didn't even know if I was going that far in. So that's all from me uh, oops, doing the um, the makeup on my wig head. All right, so I'm going to do this other side real quick. And after this, you want that to air dry. All right, see, that's still a lot. So if you was to put your wig on and didn't clean your skin first, your skin, you're actually putting adhesive on top of all of this. It, it does affect your whole. So that's why you want to make sure you clean your hairline first. You might not even realize you have so much closest to your hairline, um, so much of the makeup on your hairline, but you did. Anyways, all right, so this is the first step after you have your wig cap on. Like I said, you can use a little bit of alcohol. If you do alcohol, I would dab on it a little bit. You don't want to break your skin. And then you can use witch hazel. You can use that. I use a toner. That still clarifies your skin. So you're still cleaning up um, your skin. All right. So after that, I'm going to let this air dry. All right. I'm going to show y'all what this lace look like real quick. reason why I'm going to use this too is because I have the mocha mousse the lace tint mousse here so I can at the end of the day if I didn't want to use this first I can always use the lace tint mousse as a second I would normally do it at the end so even if I didn't have it available the lace tint spray I could always use the lace tint mousse so the lace tint mousse is is this one right here so if you don't have to use the lace tint spray, I like to use the lace tint spray. I only use the mousse at the end. So I normally combine that with a little bit of the um, a gel. And then that does the baby hair. But I normally a mocha. I don't even know why I got chased. Child, I think I'll be throwing touch -ups. So I'll tell you a trick about that in a minute. Anyways, so let's just see what this lace looks like now because I tinted the lace. Now remember, it was kind of like a white sort of look to it. Now we're going to do... I don't want to be too wet. I don't want to mess up my damn wig cap. I should have gotten a damn blow dryer. I think it's in the other room. So. See, so yeah, it still needs to be a little bit browner, but I'm not going to go in the other room to get the other one. But it's still not as light as it was before. But I, like I said, I'm a mocha person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the mocha mousse at the end. So this is going to be a little bit browner by the time we get done. So I'm going to let that air dry for right now. So in the meantime, I'm going to then do one thing. I'm going to use a skin protector on my, um, for my skin. My head feels wet, so now I feel like I don't want to put that stuff on. In the meantime, before I do that, because I don't really want to put nothing on, it feels wet. Tony, you got the caramel. You think you need mocha? I have a hard time cutting around the ears. Any tips? Um, I can show you how I do mine when we get to that. Uh, Tony, what do you have trouble with? Like, what exactly is the, the challenge for you around there? This is still full wet, y'all. All right, so I'm going to use a little bit of the Guard My Skin to the Max. And that's going to go around your hairline. So when you do this, it's going to look like 
a light barrier. Um, it is a light barrier, but it'll look like a barrier. It doesn't, it isn't shiny. It's not matte. It's not something that's noticeable, but you can tell that it's there because you can kind of like see the line of where you put the product there. Oh, can y'all see? So you're going to dab on this real quick around the full air line. Can y'all see that? And you want to put it right where the product is going to be, which is around your actual hairline. You can tell I have my hairline right here. So I'm putting the product right in front of the hairline. She said, you said it's not that neat. Well, that's what baby hairs are for. It don't have to be exactly neat. <laughs> um, it don't gotta be perfect. It's okay. There's a way to like hide that imperfection, okay? And that's a lot of times why people do baby hairs because that's what they're trying to do is to hide the imperfections. So real quick, I'm going to also, while this part is drying, right? Um, we're going to now use the knotted solutions on the inside of the cap, right? The knotted solutions, we help with reducing the shed on your wigs. So we're going to spray the inside of the cap with the knotted solutions. Normally I'll do two layers. Hold on y'all, this is like splashing all over the place. Quick tip, I don't know if y'all know, I had to tell a customer this the other day. If the spray bottle is clogged, what you're gonna do is you wanna run your hot water and you're gonna spray the inside of the nozzle. That's how you get it to be working properly. And this is kind of spray with like going all over the place. Because remember, this is basically a liquid form of a glue. It has polymers in it. Um, so you're gonna spray the inside of the cap. This helps with reduce the shedding. It's called knotted solutions. So it was kind of spraying kind of weird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray hot water on the inside of the cap. So it'll unclog it basically. If that happens with any of your products in the melt me down spray, sometimes that might get clogged. Just get the hot water, take the hot water, spray it inside, um, have the water run, right, for a while. And then you spray it inside. I don't know if anybody ever done that. Let me know in the comments section if y'all have. So now it should spray better. See, y'all see that? Y'all didn't see it before. So now it sprays properly. All right, so I'm kind of getting kind of heavy with this stone right now. So you're going to spray it inside of the cap and you're going to blow dry it dry. So I'm going to let this air dry because we got some other steps. But you can use a blow dryer to speed up that process. Right now, because I'm doing this live and I feel like I can keep on moving with the next step, I'm going to let this air dry. But if you want, if you're by yourself, you're not talking, you're not doing a lot of other things, to speed up the process, you can use a blow dryer. So in the meantime, instead of me doing that, I'm going to let this air dry for a second. And I'm going to start with my adhesive because I've already used the uh, guard my skin to the max to allow for my skin to have a barrier before whatever product that I use. All right. So the next step I'm going to use is the max adhesive. I probably should use the regular one. Let me see if I have it. I don't. Mm, I have this one. Mm, I might use this. But um the max is the longer hold adhesive and it's also water resistant. We have two different levels, the regular adhesive and then the max. The max is just a stronger adhesive. It dries quicker. Um, it's a little bit thicker. It's a little bit of a, a longer hold, but it's still okay if you have sensitive skin. But I don't have the other one around. So I'm gonna only do one layer because I don't really want this wig to come on that uh, long, stay on that long because I don't really keep wigs on for extended period of time. I don't wanna take them off and let my hair breathe. So I'm gonna put this on real quick. I'll put one layer on, let it dry, maybe two and then I'll install the wig. So, I normally would have popsicle sticks and clearly I'm still not prepared. So um, I can use popsicle sticks to um, spread it around, but instead I'm gonna use this and then use alcohol to clean it off. 
All right, so let's start here. The thing you want to always make sure is that the layers are thin and they're even when you're using adhesive. So you want to start with thin layers. I wish y'all was right here. I wonder if I could switch this over. Let's see here. Let's see. Hmm. All right, I'm going to try. I'll, I'll start it on my in the mirror and then I'll finish off blending it over here, okay, if that makes sense. I got to be like I'm blind over here, so it's more light right here. Let me put this up a little bit more. So if you got any questions while I'm doing this, I'll check the chat. Okay, I don't see anything in the chat. All right, so remember, you're not putting this product on your actual hairline. You're putting it in front of your hairline, and then you're spreading it out. You can see I'm not real heavy handed with the adhesive and now I'm going to um, spread it across and I'm going back or to the side. I'm not going forward because I don't want my wig to go further down my forehead. Um, so it's very hard for me not to look in the mirror, y'all. I should have a mirror, a standing mirror that's right there. Maybe I'll buy one. Um, and you want to make sure it's nice and even throughout. So that when it dries, it's dry and even. And then the timing of all of it too. You want to make sure you're consistent because one side can dry quicker than the other side. I think I might need a little bit more. I think I'm being too light-handed. Let's do a little bit more right here. So, right here. The most challenging areas normally when people are putting on a wig is normally um, the t ear tabs right here and then the nape. That normally is the area that lifts the soonest, the quickest. All right. So, see that? See that? See that? Now, if you wanted to add another product with it to help with the drying, I mean, the hold, you could. Um, I have some tape here. Um, this is also water resistant. It's just a liquid form of an adhesive. So basically, if you wanted to, you will cut a piece of tape off and then you would attach it, which I can do a little bit here for you today. Since I'm not gonna do a really long hold, I can do one for you. So I'll show you how I do this one as well. So um, this is a roll. So sometimes it can come in pieces. This is just a roll. It's, just, it's easier for you to judge how much tape you want to put on your wig. So, and you cut it in half too. So if you don't want the whole wide piece, you're able to do it as well. So if you just want a small piece, on your temple areas like normally right here and then maybe one piece in the forehead if you want to do that um you're able to if you want to put a wig on just with tape alone you're able to it'll be just fine um so we're gonna do one right here i could have put it right here but i'm gonna put it right here for right now um and i'm gonna do one more piece for right here the only thing is i do have a problem that i didn't put that wig cap a little bit closer so it's kind of like sitting on my hairline but not really um but at least the wig cap is covering that section and the wig cap is covering that section um all right so 
that dried now we're gonna go to our second layer you can see that the whole area has dried now we're gonna do the second layer Oh crap, what the heck? Mm -mm. Pressing too hard. So I got a wet towel. All right. This way ain't going nowhere. So, a little bit too much. All right, so I'm going to blend this part in. See, all that got to go. I'm going to have to use a remover for that. I'm over here making a mess, y'all. Once again, I'm bringing it back, not forward, because I don't want my hair wig to go down. I want to go for. I want it to be ending where I'm stopping the glue it. there yikes I know they don't do this much all right a little bit right here on that bottom section near your ear temples I have to use something to get that part off and I just made a whole mess right here y'all all right so I'm gonna remove this part off All right, need a towel, not a paper towel. All right, so we're gonna let that part dry. Now we're gonna prep the wig so the wig is good. All right, so I ain't doing another layer. This is good enough for me. All right, so when I say prep the wig, normally I like the wig to be ready to install like the hair, baby hair is pulled back. So I kind of did it already, but I started messing with it. So what I'll do is I'll take um, the uh, flat iron, uh, the straightening comb, and I'll comb down the edges and put my wig on a block. So I'm going to put the wig on a block real quick. I'm going to show you in a second. I don't know what I did my blue dryer. You know, sometimes my niece be coming to my house and be taking my stuff and then acting like she gave it back. I think that's what happened because I can't find my blow dryer and I can't find my good flat iron. Damn kids. <laughs> Pretty sure it gotta be her because I don't lose stuff like that. Anyways, um, so I might have to cut this video different short. So I'm gonna take this blow dryer, um, this flat iron and I'm going to smooth out the edges. So what I'll do is I'll use a little bit of mousse around the hairline. And then I'll do is, yeah, she probably got my dad on blow dryer, y'all. So um, I'm gonna comb the uh, baby hairs back. So you want all the baby hairs back away from your install. So when it's time for you to do the install, you'll be ready. And then what I can do is, since tomorrow is Saturday, I can show you guys how I do the parts and how I do the plucking. How about that, y'all? So I'll do the install today, and then tomorrow I'll do the plucking. Even though some of it's already plucked, but it's some parts where you do the part in the middle and everything like that. So what I'm going to do is comb it all back. So if you see it from here, Everything's pulled back. So when it's time for me to do the install, I can really see what I'm doing. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take this um, blow dryer, and then now I'm going to straighten out the edges. You might not be able to see all of it, but you'll get it. All 
If you want, you can put a little bit of a holding product on here too. If you want to have a little bit of a firm base. I'm not right now. Cause now I'm sitting here thinking about where my dad on my blow dry is. So, I wanna show y'all how we're gonna put this wig on without that part being done yet. I'll finish it off tomorrow morning for y'all. So all I'm doing is, is just flat, iron, flat ironing the edges so that when it's time for me to put the wig on, it's nice and flat and I can see everything and none of the baby hairs is getting in the way of the adhesive. Now after this, I'm gonna then put on some clips as well. So that's all I'm doing is going back on the wig. All right. Now if I put some like gel on here or a spritz or something like that, it will have a stronger, um, a harder sort of feel of a hole, but I didn't do that all today. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like real quick. And I'm about to lay the lace. Laying a lace really don't take that long once you get started. People think it takes extra long. It's just that once you get past the learning curve, it'll take you about 20 minutes to a half an hour. So, now all the baby hairs are all pulled back. I'm using some of the clips. So we're going to now clip the um, hairline back. If you have any questions while I'm doing this, feel free, drop them in the comment section. I'll make sure I answer them as I'm doing this install. Clips is gonna make this hair stay back. And then one more for the other hair. All right, so now we got our wig ready, right? All right, so before we get to here, we put this on the, the block real quick. Before I get to that part, what I'm gonna do is take these tapes off. You know, sometimes you can't do stuff with nails, and sometimes you cannot do it with stuff with nails. Can or not? Damn if you do, damn if you don't. All right, I'm gonna take this tape off. You gotta make sure you press down so that all the sticky part is going where it's supposed to go. I'm trying to separate the two. I should have did that a little bit before I started. So you got these pieces off. All right, so now you're ready to do your install. I normally start in the middle, and then I work my way down. But like I said, I can't fully see. It's not a lot of light right here this way. I'm gonna do it here, but I'll finish it with you guys. All right. So next step you wanna do, and I'm gonna cut the lace off the back first, right? So you have elastic band in the back. I normally do a Velcro um, elastic band on top if you want an extra security. Since I'm blowing it down, I don't need all that, but I am gonna cut the lace off the nape area first. So basically I'm gonna just cut it where the baby hair starts. So if you see that right here, I wanna cut it right there. So if you wanted to tape down your nape area, you could. I have, but normally I don't. But if you want to, you can. All right, so that's taken off. Now you're going to put the front on because the back and whatever adjustable strap you need it to be on to give you um, added security, you will do that now. I got a big old head, y'all, so I keep it on the, the loosest side possible. <laughs> All right, so... Um, 
So normally when I dip my head in it, I try not to get close to the hairline. I only try to get it so it covers this area right here because then I'm going to bring it forward. So really I'm only worrying about the nape area. I don't want it up top yet because I got to place the wig before I'll say where I want to actually um, make sure that the melt, that lace wig melts at. So you want to make sure you pull out all the lace that's extra. You don't want this lace sitting on the glue and then sometimes it'll stick to the glue and you ain't even ready yet. So you want to make sure you're pulling out all that extra lace and flipping it up so that it doesn't touch any areas of your adhesive. All right. So that goes that part, right? Now, when you're placing the wig, you want to make sure that the wig is definitely centered where the center would be the beginning of the one end to the other end. So from here to ear, ear tabs right here, you want to make sure it's centered. So right now for me, it's centered. So what I normally do is I'm going to pull the wig up, literally pull the wig up, it's still on your head, and then pull it forward and place it down, if that makes sense. So I pull it up and then down so that the wig is placed where I would like for it to be once I know the wig is centered. So where the baby hair starts is where you place um, the adhesive. Wherever your adhesive is, that's where you wanna place that lace. So if I ended the lace adhesive right here, I'm gonna place the adhesive here. If I ended it up right here, I'm gonna place that baby hair there. That's how you know where to place the wig at where you don't have too much adhesive showing and not enough. If that makes sense, let me know. If it don't make sense, I'll try to re-explain it to you so it does, okay? So, I'm pulling it up. And then placing it. Pull it up. And then placing it. going to hold and press on those areas that is situated first. Oops, I forgot to cut the one piece. I'm going to need to cut this piece right here. Right here. What this does is give you some room. Sorry, y'all. I forgot that part. Um, cutting in these two areas give you that extra room to pull it forward, if that makes sense. Um, especially if you have a temple, temple measurement that's kind of like forward. It allows for you to have some movement before you start placing it in the other sections. So, um, you have it here, and then you have it placed here. And normally I wait a couple of seconds before I start doing the other side, but you don't want to wait too long. And what this one does, it allows me now pull the other side, this side forward to connect with the adhesive. Once you connect it, 
I normally like to hold it for a second to let the product work. This is where the tape was. So you want to press up against the tape. Before we cut the, the, the perimeter. So a little bit reinforcement. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with the, um, what's that? the melt me down spray. So I'm going to hit it right around here with the melt me down spray first. right here and I gotta get my elastic band ready. Where my elastic band at? Elastic band. What's up Stacy? Alright, so I go on to now hit up the perimeter with the uh, melt me down spray. So, and then tie it down. If you feel like you got mistakes, I'm gonna show you how to cover those mistakes. I do that dang on elastic band that quick, y'all. Oh, here it is. So now you're going to tie it down. You're tying it right where those two meet. I'm gonna let that dry real quick. If I have a darn blow dryer, I'll be able to do that, and I don't have it. <sighs> this is gonna take forever to dry, y'all. I don't know if I could do this without a damn blow dryer. Um, I'm gonna let that dry real quick. If y'all have any questions, um, drop them in the chat so I can address them because this is gonna take a minute to dry, and I'm like a little bit annoyed that I don't have my blow dryer. But I can I can probably finish it later. But I really do need my blow dryer to speed up this process, and I don't want to be on this live for like 18 hours. Do y'all have any questions for me? So I use a lace wig adhesive. I use a knot of solutions to make sure the wigs do not shed. What's up, Lashonda? Hey, boo. This is the other adhesive, the two different types of adhesive. One lasts longer than the other for if you want an extra long hold. I'm going to use the mousse <laughs> um, for um, the lace melt for the baby hairs. But this one is the mocha. That's what I normally use. You can tell, like, I'm not really chai. So what I'll do is I'll use this first. And if I have my wig on for a really long amount of time, what I'll do is I'll then use a lighter tint to just lighten it up, I mean darken up a little bit without it being too dark because over time it does wear off. So this is the mocha. And then I did the bald cap with the got you stuck. That's how I was able to do the bald cap method along with the melt me down spray. And I remember I used the skin protector to guard my skin to the max to help with the, um, the, the barrier for my skin. This still feel wet, y'all. I'm really annoyed I don't have my blow dryer, but I know my niece had it because she just she just took braids out. And I didn't realize I didn't have my um my blow dryer until actually after I did this live. So I apologize for that. But um if y'all don't have any questions, um I'll probably have to end this live because I have to let this dry. And it's already been an hour, y'all. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me though. Um but I want this melt to be right. Best part is the cutting the lace. Y'all have any questions?
y'all have any questions for me if y'all don't i'm gonna have to cut the live i'm i i don't know let me see i feel like i'm gonna take it off i'm gonna mess it up he he all It might be all right. Let me see. No, it's not dry yet. I feel it. It feels wet. All right. What I'm going to do is, what I can do is, on tomorrow's live, I'm, I'm going to take this lace off before I go get my son plus my back starting to hurt. What I can do is, the next install, I'll make sure I have the blow dryer and I can do um, the lace cutting and things like that. Or maybe I'll do a real close video of just the lace cutting by itself to make sure that you guys see that part how about that that seems fair <laughs> um all right y'all so thank you for joining me on my lunch on y'all lunch and um with this lace wig install with the 12 inch wig i'm gonna come back tomorrow morning so if you're available come back tomorrow morning at um nine o'clock eastern standard time and i am going to show you guys how i'm going to pluck the hairline which this one's I kind of already plucked already and how I'm going to part pluck the parting area to give it a more defined look once it's out and styled. Hey, everyone. Hey, um, Evelyn, how are you? I'm between patients. <laughs> What's up, Evelyn? Um, thank you for joining. We've been on here for an hour right now. I'm going to be logging off, Evelyn. We did a full lace wig install. Uh, we went through the whole beginning process. Only parts left is to cut the lace. And um, I realized I don't have my blow dryer. So you missed a lot, but you can always watch the replay. Hashtag replay if you're watching a replay. Let me know that y'all came here and that you are watching the replay. But join me tomorrow. I'm going to send out a text message. I'm going to send out an email. And um, hopefully everybody's getting ready for Mother's Day. And enjoying your Mother's Day. If you're not a mother, you're enjoying your day as well. Um, and I'm praying for everyone who um, mother is not around. Because I know Mother's Day is not a good day for everybody. I completely um, understand that as well. So I will talk to y'all, you guys later. All right. Until next time, it was fun. All right. Peace. How do you cancel this one? I love your demonstrations. And this one gives a real feel for what it's like to apply this type of unit. Thank you, Angel. I saw your comment. I appreciate it. Um, thank you for joining the, the live. If you are watching on replay, hashtag replay. Thank you for the comment, Angel. I appreciate it. You enjoy um, you watching. Um, come back tomorrow. I'll be here in the morning as well. So I'm going to finish this whole install off tomorrow. All right. I'll talk to y'all later.